Hello children, good morning. Welcome back to the online classroom of Sri Gogulam Public School Guruvayu. I am Joyce, your max teacher. How are you children? Hope you all are good at your home. Children, our portions are almost over. So today onwards, we are going to start our revision. Before starting this session, I would like to ask one question to you. Did you attend the test paper that I given in the previous class? Yes. So children, today let us revise the 6th chapter. Which is our 6th chapter? Yes. Addition up to 20. Are you ready children? Okay. Tell me children, what do you mean by addition? Yes, addition means putting things together. Then, what have you learned in this lesson? Yes, in this lesson you have learned different methods in addition. That is count and add, adding by making 10, adding by forward counting, adding 10s and 1s and addition of 3 numbers. So, let us revise these concepts. First one, count and add. We know how to count objects and add. Let us see how to do this. In this picture, you can see there are three chocolates in one circle and two chocolates in the other circle. Here we have to find out the total number of chocolates. How will you find out the answer? Yes, we will count the objects. So, let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is, there are 5 chocolates in all. So, children, this is the way of adding things by counting. Next, we learned adding 10. We know it is easy to add 2 numbers when one number is 10. We learned 10 plus 1 is equal to 11, 10 plus 2 is equal to 12, 10 plus 3 is equal to 13, 10 plus 4 is equal to 14, 10 plus 5 is equal to 15, 10 plus 6 is equal to 16, 10 plus 7 is equal to 17, 10 plus 8 is equal to 18, 10 plus 9 is equal to 19 and 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. Children, it is easy to add two numbers when one number is 10. So, we can add numbers by making a group of 10 first. Let us see how to add numbers by using this. Here we have to add 7 and 6. How do you add 7 and 6? To add 7 and 6, first we will draw 7 circles then we will draw 6 circles and we have to make a group of 10 first to make a group of 10 let us join 3 more circles to 7 circles now we get 10 circles and remaining 3 circles we know 10 plus 3 is equal to 13 so we can say that 7 plus 6 is equal to 13. So children in this way you can add two numbers by making a group of 10 first. Let us see one more example. We have to add 8 and 3. So how will you add 8 and 3? Yes first we will draw 8 circles then 3 circles and we have to make a group of 10 first. So let us take two more circles from the group of three circles. Now we get a group of ten circles and remaining one circle. We learned ten plus one is equal to eleven. So we can say that eight plus three also equal to eleven. Next we learned adding by forward counting. In this method we will keep the bigger number in our mind and take the smaller number in our fingers. Then count forward from the bigger number. Let us see one example. We have to add 15 and 3. So we can keep the number 15 in our mind because 15 is the bigger number. And take 3 in our fingers. Then count forward from 15. 
Tell me children, which number comes after 15? Yes, 16. That is 16, 17, 18. So our answer is 18. That is 15 plus 3 is equal to 18. Let us do one more example. That is 8 plus 5. Tell me children, which number will you keep in your mind? Yes, 8 because 8 is the bigger number. And we can take 5 in your fingers. Then count forward from 8. That is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So our answer is 13. That is 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. Then we learn a short method to add. Do you remember that method? Yes. Adding 10s and 1s. We know a two digit number contains two places that is 10s and 1s. In this method we have to arrange the numbers vertically that is we have to arrange the numbers one below the other. Let us do one example that is 12 plus 5. The first step we have to arrange 12 and 5 vertically. So let us arrange these numbers in 10s and 1s column. We know 12 is a two digit number. So it contains 10s and 1s places. Do you remember children where shall we start addition? Yes, we should start addition from 1s place. So let us add the 1s. Tell me children which are the numbers comes in 1s column? Yes, 2 and 5. So let us add 2 and 5. We know 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So we can write the number 7 in 1s column. Then let us add the 10s digit. Here which are the numbers comes in 10s column? Yes, 1. See children, here only 1 number. So let us put here 0. Then add 1 and 0. Tell me what is 1 plus 0? Yes, 1. So, let us write the number 1 in tens column. So, tell me children, what is the answer? Yes, 17. That is 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. Let us do one more example. That is 11 plus 8. So, what is the first step? Yes, let us arrange these numbers in tens and ones column. Okay, then what is the next step? We have to add the ones. Here, which are the numbers comes in ones column? Yes, 1 and 8. So, let us add 1 and 8. Tell me children, what is 1 plus 8? Yes, it is 9. So, we can write 9 in ones column. Then, what is the next step? Yes, we have to add the tens place digits. Here, we have only one number in tens column. So, let us put here 0, then add 1 and 0. Tell me what is 1 plus 0? 1. So, our answer is 19. That is 11 plus 8 is equal to 19. I hope you have understood how to add numbers by using 10s and 1s columns. Then we learned the addition of 3 numbers. To add 3 numbers, add any 2 numbers first, then add the third number to the sum. So, let us see how to do this. For example, 1 plus 2 plus 5. Here we have to add 3 numbers. We know to add 3 numbers, add any 2 numbers first. So, let us add 1 and 2. Tell me children, what is 1 plus 2? Yes, 3. Then what is the next step? Yes, add the third number to the sum. Here which is the third number? 5. And the sum we get is 3. So, let us add 5 and 3. Tell me what is 5 plus 3? Yes, 8. So, our answer is 8. Let us do one more example that is 8 plus 2 plus 7. We know to add 3 numbers, add any 2 numbers first. So, let us add 2 plus 7 first. Then tell me what is 2 plus 7? Yes, 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Then we have to add the third number to the sum. Here the third number is 8. So let us add 8 and 9. So tell me children what is 8 plus 9? Yes, 
we will keep the number 9 in our mind and take 8 in our fingers then count forward from 9 that is 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so our answer is 17 that is 8 plus 2 plus 7 is equal to 17 remember children to add three numbers add any two numbers first then add the third number to the sum is it clear I hope you have understood how to add three numbers. Okay. I hope you have understood today's class. Today we revised the sixth chapter addition up to 20. You have to practice more problems. Okay. So let me conclude today's session. See you in the next class. Till then. Bye.